guys um i'm coming today and uh, today i'll try my best to be to play very 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 simple stuff here so people have been complaining that uh, i'm teaching very well which is very good thank you very much i appreciate but uh, i'm playing too fast so i'm here to break down things for you and uh, i want to start with this lesson and i want to to hear your responses i want to hear if now you can understand what i'm doing because my aim is to teach you my aim is you to understand so someone suggested that uh, i stream a video on combining uh, they know how to locate the nodes but they don't know how to run along the fretboard so i want to address that pro uh, problem i tell you what is the, the issue because i had the same problem when i was learning uh, of course uh, we all, all we are always learning day in day out but uh, if I were in the, I was in that level at some point I know the struggle that uh, someone goes through so I'm here to explain to you and I want you to pay really close attention so I just uh, started by playing simple rhythm so that is uh, just a chord a normal chord you should be familiar with as long as you as long as you are capable of playing uh, you, you know chords that is a simple uh, rhythm because you are just this, the upper string the upper the lower the upper the lower and then the center one and then uh, it applies also to the four chord and the five chord upper lower center so that is a uh, very simple I don't think now you can uh, complain that I'm going so fast. So I just came and I started playing on something here. So you might be thinking, you, I know how to play this one, but how comes, how is he able to come all along here? This is because of just chord inversions. Chord inversions. If you know this, this is a one, and you know th there is another one here, and you know another one here, and I streamed a video on that, so you should go and check that, then you know. I can replace this one with this one so I can come here and I start playing some things other things if I know there is a four here there's another four here if you have uh, uh, checked you have you haven't checked uh, my lesson on chord inversion you should check chord inversion now this chord is four one four now the four there's another four here now this four is what I'm using now one and then four and then the five there's another five here the same way here you skip this fret and then here so this is not the lesson for inversions so you should go and check uh, the lesson for inversions so so i came here and maybe i started doing what like this this solo is still on the progression of one four and five so this is one This is a chord of one. This is the importance of understanding inversions. The chord of one. And then I'm just taking this note because the, here there is a scale. I taught a scale, major scale position one. One, two. Someone said I'm, I'm, I'm doing it so fast. So I will try my best to do, to do it slowly. This is a note one. Note two. You see the fingering? Also, I'll do a lesson on fingering on all the scales because this is. Uh, very important very 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 important you see the, the way my fingers are aligned every finger should uh, stay every finger should stay uh, on its fret don't take this finger and because you feel that this finger is weak or this is uh, this is weak you start taking this one to replace this one or this one to replace this one let every finger stay on its fret so if my note is here if I'm starting here then my finger should be this one not this one if I have other notes here, and other notes here, and other notes here, and other notes. So my first finger will be this one, which is this one. So, you see, the pinky, then, 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 so, so the center one, the pinky, the first finger, second finger, that finger, first finger, uh, ring finger, pinky. The scale is over. Everything else is repetition. 
now from here this is the, my 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 first my first finger now my first note my root note mm, here is the similar to this one You see, I'm not bringing this finger here to play this note. This finger, if there is a no, is no, there is no note here. Let the finger remain there. Let the second finger play the the, the note that is near it. So from here, I did. all the notes are in the scale are over. Everything else is repetition. Like this one is a two. It's just this one or this one. All those are the same notes so I was explaining to you the solo if you understand the scale now you can play the solo by this is the chord and then I will just add this note I'll just do you see now it becomes I just go down and then up depending on vo what voices or which voices I want so now because if that is one, I want a four. So uh, I came uh, on chord four and I did this one note, this note, and then this one. Because this is a four. Generally, this is a chord. So a normal chord. And then a one. This is still a one. A one, a one. These two notes. I am playing these two notes. But uh, the chord is uh, it's all over. From here, 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 here. So I'm playing these two notes. And then sliding these dots. You see? These dots, they make a two. You don't have to master all those things. You can just master a simple progression of one, four, one, five. So that one and this one. A three and a two. So I just need these two dots. I slide it. back to one and then five I want to go to five so I can use any means as long as my designation is five you see I can still add the other flavors but I just did that but if I wanted to even to come from here you see as long as you know this is a chord a chord of five here a chord of four so Code of four, code of five. So I can take these notes, I run with them, I run, I run until I come to my destination. So this is the point. The key point is here. Now I am in the five. So I do, I did that. So let me play the entire solo. If you understand this, you'll see the necessity of a scale and the chord, uh, understanding the chord and the chord inversions. And now, uh, practicing by applying, uh, following the progression. If you don't know how to follow the progression, you need to go back to a class which is lower than this one and you learn that. So, this lesson was basically for showing you. Uh, it was just for breaking, uh, showing you maybe the, the major scale a little bit, a recap of what you uh, someone complained that uh, they didn't understand, and uh, combining combining uh, one chord inversion or solo from one position to another, because also someone complained uh, or suggested that uh, they they have a problem with that. The problem is not uh, that uh, you know how to play. The problem is that you are not able to master the fretboard. You are not able to see the fretboard. And the, the reason is you don't know the inversion, chord inversions. Because if you knew, let me show you something. Because if you knew, if you have uh, mastered the, the fretboard, you'll know like, voice like this one is here. Because this is a one. You 
see there is a one here so if there is a chord one here then this voice is still here if i want a five this is a five then i can uh, a five i know there is a five here these voices are here they are repeated like these two notes i just need to look for them so you might think like uh, i'm just touching them because i know no i have mastered the chord inversions i know before this one there's a chord here. before this one there's a chord here before this one there's a chord here so all this one is five you see so if there's a five here i expect a five here and i expect another five here so even the notes that i played here i can still play them here you see let me show you i did what i played that one they are there they are these ones but they are high they are the ones they are still here you see they are still here this is a five they are still there you see a five if i want a one it's same case a four you see i can I, I i can see all these notes because i have mastered the chord inversions so in case you have uh, not uh, checked on the lesson on chord inversion please go and check that so that uh, you'll be able to see the fretboard quite well now from there if you are stuck we will come and uh, join the scales you see the scales a lesson which uh, i will stream after this so go and uh, review that practice subscribe share uh, hit the notification bell please uh, comment don't uh, don't forget to to subscribe i need you to sub to subscribe to motivate me bye see you thank you for watching